Hello everybody, welcome back to Zombie, where everything wants to numb me, and I don't quite enjoy it. Reach the Royal Bunker entrance. You know, I'd actually really appreciate it if, like, things don't go predictably wrong in this game. Like, maybe you find some other survivors, and things can actually be helped. Just a thought. It would make things so much nicer for me. Okay. Ooh, I can scan you. Now can that fool freaking help me? What? I didn't see you there, you prick! Try and sneak up on me. Ugh. Okay, food. Another large med kit that I thankfully don't need right now. Gotta be honest, so far the hardest thing I've seen is... the well, hard, worst situation I've seen is just that... Weird freaking punk rocker zombie. Lovely woman, the queen. For an ancient lizard posing as a human, anyway. But I tell you, she knows the score. It's the government didn't want anyone to know about Dee's prophecy, not her match. I hope they get her away to India or something. Huh? Climbers better for reptiles, anyway. Wait, what? Like, are they talking, like, the whole Al Alex Jones sort of... Well, I don't actually know if it's from Ac Alex Jones, but conspiracy theory where... World's leaders are a bunch of lizard people. That kind of crap? Or is he just, like, calling her a lizard because she's old? I don't know. Can I... Okay. Let's see what goes wrong here. It's such a generic loading screen. Ping. Alright, so that's scavenge the royal bunkers for supplies. Great. Well, seeing as there were zombies so close to here, I'm going to take a wild guess and say that the place is probably full of zombies and it didn't survive. Just a thought. Give me a sec. If you need a sec. There's your way in. Be careful. I won't have eyes on you down there. You're on your own. <sighs> Great. And it has to be a big bunker. Is that a dead dog? I'm losing you. Must be shielded. Watch your back. God dang it. God dang it. This worries me now. There's a freaking dead puppers. Door. Something. They got me going in a freaking trashed bunkers. Doesn't look like there's been zombie outbreak here at all. Hold on. Padlock needed. Oh, okay, barred. What are you? I don't get it. Seven eight something oh seven. The code? Capacity upgrade. Wait a second, this bird symbol. I think bird symbol means like it's a, a safe room. Hold on a second here. 
please be safe, please be safe, please be safe. No Zambos, no nothing, I'm begging you. Okay, it's a safe room thing. Freaking muffins. For now. Open. Oh, do they got little chests in these safe rooms too? Guess I'll upgrade the pistol. Uh, I wish I could put like a barricade up or something, but I can't. Save, I guess. <sighs> I swear, every time it goes into that view, it scares me. I don't like that. Ugh. soloing games that have zombies in them. I, mean, I don't remember if I ever said this before on a video, but uh, the first zombie game I ever played, like, willingly was uh, what's it called? Left for Dead. Let's see. Seven, eight, oh, seven. That's all I can think of. Unless there's like a screw up with that. I don't know. Okay. I'm in there. That's barred. Yeah, of course you're infected. You're probably all infected. God dang it. Don't trust you. You there. Hi. You're not hostile. Uh, I was afraid sorry, you were going to be. I should explain. There are security monitors and speakers in walls. Do tell. I'm Peter Knight, junior doctor to the royal household. So don't worry, we're not going mad. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, um, do come and find me in the lab, won't you? Lab. What is this? A freaking virus scenario? I thought this was black magic. No, wait, it mentioned alchemy. So. It probably is a freaking virus scenario. Of course. I probably should have wrote down the code on that other painting. Can't take that ammo. You're probably not dead. I could be wrong. I've been known to be wrong every now and then. Well, now that there's someone that actually talks to me, it doesn't seem so bad anymore. For now. 7807 again. Starting to... Starting to wonder... What these codes mean? Are they alert Illuminati? Illuminati stuff? Retinal scan? Need security clearance. Great. Take a wild guess. I'm gonna need a corpse or a head that has security clearance. Probably from the zombie of somebody. Either that or it's gonna turn into a freaking escort mission.
opened. Okay, anything down here? Gonna need C4 for that. What was that noise? This is a terrible idea. Remember, people? Shame about this chap. He couldn't handle the, the horror, you see. Then again, maybe he was more sensible than the rest. Oh, he has a gun. Ooh, ooh. I'm an idiot. God dang it. <sighs> Next time I find a shortcut, remind me to go to that shortcut and freaking use it. Because, uh... I need to get rid of some of these items so I can store the important ones like these guns. Because a silenced pistol would be a great idea. Dead end? Please be dead end? Thank you, dead end. So, dead end is good. That means no spoops for me. Uh, not sure about the rest of this, though. Oh, right. That's where it came from. Okay. This way, then. Would be a deer and tell me Sorry, about your lab. I know these corridors are a labyrinth, but well, that's the point. You see, to keep intruders out. I suppose I should warn you. There are also a few infected roaming around in here. Great. Used to be a mega group of soldiers. Tremendous. Okay, this is the shortcut back to the beginning. That's great. That's actually good. This, not so good. that sound I worry about what kind of special sort of zombies are gonna be in this game because we've already got a freaking punk rock zombie the freaking wakes zombies up Doesn't particularly make me happy. And now I wish I would have saved those upgrades for that silenced pistol. If I knew there was going to be a silenced pistol, I would have done that. Uh, how many infected are going to be in this place? Well, that's barricaded, so... Okay, that's at least two to four in the next room. Four it is. I can't go through a vent. All right. You're at least caged. I'm just gonna kill them through the wall. Make sure they don't become a problem for me later. Because I don't trust the game. I really don't trust you. Do Are you kidding me? Please don't touch anything. 
This is all vital scientific work. I'll close the door behind you, just for caution. Good. Sorry, I can't greet you in person. It's safer for both of us, you understand? I'm researching a cure for this terrible infection, you see. It's oh. slow going, as I have so few subjects to test on. Okay. Like those poor Omega group soldiers. Not my finest hour, I fear. If you'll forgive me for a moment, I'm sure you can help me. All right. And how am I supposed to help you? How long is this game? Royal Attache? Case. Queen's Letters. Hold on a second. Now I think about it. Because those other zombies are kind of locked up. So let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me check something. Gear, missions, one of the Queen's own doctors survived the outbreak by hiding in the royal bunker and is searching for a cure to this horrible disease. Maybe I can help. Yeah, sure. ID. Uh, okay, I'm not infected yet. For now. My map, Palace Underground. Notebook. The Queen's letters. From the office of Professor Keating, our Keatinge. I honestly don't know how to pronounce that. The Master and Fellows of the College of the Great Hall of the University of Oxford. That's a lot of ofs. To the Office of Air, or Ire, I don't know. 18th, August 2004, Your Majesty. Following your request, in our previous conversations on the matter, I have undertaken a brief study of the so-called Black Prophecy from John D. While fascinating in historical context, and undoubtedly powerful in its imaginary imagery, an intellectual curiosity. I must conclude that the prophecy and its correlating interest in the Panakia are little more than that. D was a devout and intelligent man, but also a scholar of alchemy and hermeticism, uh, as was common at the time. He's there. He therefore believed himself to be regularly visited by angels and demons with whom he conversed. The Black Prophecy is the result of one such conversation as related in D's volume of Enochum Colloquia. This book is quite rare, and many extant copies are suspected to be forgeries, but the Bodleian... I, I'm sorry if I pronounce half these words wrong. They're all, like, I'm guessing British. Uh, Bodleian, or Bodleian, has held a copy since 1640, just 30 years after Dee's death, and I'm quite sure of its pro uh, provenance. Dee's fascination with a panacea, or panacea, I don't know how to pronounce that word, uh, likely derives from his, obsep his obsession with the Great Plague, as he encountered many cases during his European travels, and his own wife succumbed toward the end of Dee's life. I would suggest this vision is a reaction to a man known as an expert physician when faced with such traumatic and incurable circumstances. In modern times, bubonic plague is a known, quantifiable, and curable disease. By contrast, in the 16th century, the only cure was to burn the corpses so as to stem the disease's spread, as of course occurred in the Great Fire of London. In summary, while I admire and welcome Your Majesty's interest and patronage in medical research and care for the nation, I must conclude that there is no cause for alarm with regard to the predicted blight, nor indeed for undue optimism concerning the panacea. Humble yours, I remain William Keatinch. Okay. Former Royal Guard, shot by his own men. Oh, crap. They've got actually, like, legit... Crap. I don't know. I guess I should read this stuff. Metropolitan, August 30th, 2012. Scholars warn of 400-year-old prophecies. Historians claim a 17th century prophecy predicts the end of the world, and politicians ignore it at, at their peril. John Dee, an advisor to Queen Elizabeth I, who spied for her in Europe and signed his coded letters 007, was one of the most well-known scientists of his time. But Dee was also an alchemist and claimed to talk to angels. 
He used magical rituals to hold what he called Enotian conversations. Once again, I don't know if I'm even pronouncing that right. And among other things, these angels told him how the world would end, says Professor William Keatinge. Uh... A historian from Oxford University who has studied the so-called Black Prophecy for almost 10 years. Professor Keaton admits he was skeptical when he began the research, but became convinced when he discovered Dee had already predicted the Great Plague, the Great Fire of London, the Battle of Waterloo, World War II, Britain's loss of India, and even the Gulf War. Okay. John Dee is England's very own no Nostradamus, he said, and Dee's predictions for 2012 could spell something much worse. Well then, no blight and blighty, says Prime Minister. The Prime Minister today, today denied the government is making plans to deal with the blight predicted to hit London in 2012 because he says it won't happen. This sounds familiar. Is this game seriously comparing a zombie outbreak to the freaking, like, like, uh, as my brain starts working? Global warming? Kind of does seem like it. Prime Minister described John Dee's black prophecy as hogwash and utter rubbish, and when Vox asked him about rumors that the Queen herself believes the predictions, he ranted that ordinary people shouldn't believe everything they read in the news. After calming down, he said, even if the prophecy is real, Britain will be safe because the plague will stay in Europe. It's like rabies, he said. We are a proud island nation, and any plague or disease is more likely to start in Europe than here. And it'll have a jolly hard time crossing the channel. But experts say the sheer number of people traveling in and out of the country makes it impossible to screen everyone for disease. Yeah, that's kind of true. Okay. Hold on. Freaking nose. Itching. Okay, Vox, November 11th, 2002. Former royal guard shot by his own men. Police have revealed that the mystery man shot last week in the Buckingham Palace Gardens was a former soldier who used to work as a bodyguard to the Queen. The man, who can't be named for legal reasons, is believed to be a former member of the so-called Omega Group, elite ex-Special Forces soldiers who were recruited to guard the royal family 24 hours a day. He was shot by men he used to work with, said a police spokesman. It's very unfortunate, but this individual appears to be quite mentally unstable which is why he was relieved of his duty several years ago in the first place. But an army source denied this, saying he was let go because he turned out to be a conspiracy nutter and he was trying to get the Queen to listen to his half-baked rubbish. Omega's better off without him. A spokesman, a spokesman to the Queen refused to... Uh, refused to what? I guess it's not complete? Okay. I say. Steady on, old girl. Do what now? I hope one of those corpses isn't going to come back to life and freaking kill them in there. That would make me extremely upset. Right. Now here's how you could help. Okay. There's a book. De Remedi Secreti by Conrad Gesner. Uh-huh. Fascinating text. Do tell. What I'm after is Dee's own copy where he made annotations. I believe it's in the palace library. Which means going upstairs, I'm afraid. Oh, screw my life. Would you be so kind? <sighs> the bunker elevator can take you up to the palace. I hate you right now. I was sort of happy to be running into someone. Not no more. I get the feeling that these zombies are going to stay sealed away for long. God dang it. Okay, at least he has enough sense to lock these doors. Uh, crap. Well, I guess now is a good time to end the episode. So if you enjoyed this, leave a like and subscribe, leave a comment, possibly leave a donation, and, we'll see you in, and I will see you in the next episode. Have a good night, everybody. Wait, can I open this? Okay, no, good. But yeah, see you in the next episode.